What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another digital marketing tip video. In today's tip video, I will show you how to set up your website and add it to Bing Webmaster Tools. So to begin, you'll want to go to the Bing Webmaster Tools dashboard, and then you will add your website. There are two different verification methods for Bing Webmaster Tools. The obviously easiest one is to import your website via Google Search Console. So if you're already verified on Google Search Console, then you can literally just import this and it'll set up your dashboard. But if you don't have Google Search Console verified already, then you can add your website manually. So then you will just type in your website URL. And as a quick caveat, Bing will consider this URL to be a unique URL compared to this other one. So make sure you're using your website's exact URL. And then you'll click the Add button. And then you'll have three different methods of verification. Adding a CNAME record to your domain name server or uploading an XML file using a FTS or FTP protocol can be really intensive or takes a lot of technical savviness. So um, I would recommend working with your web developer with these two options. But for our purposes, the simplest way is to just add a meta tag to your site's homepage. So you can click on this option and then you will copy and paste this HTML meta tag into the header section of your website or before the first body section of your website. So this is super simple if you have a WordPress website. You can just install this insert headers and footers plugin. And once that's installed, then you'll go under the settings tab and select header and footer scripts. And then you will just copy and paste the script into the plugin and then save your settings. And then once that is saved, you'll come back into the Bing Webmaster Tools dashboard and then verify. It may take some time for the changes to populate on your website. So if the verification fails immediately, wait 15 minutes or a couple of hours and then try again. And then if you're still having some issues, then you can try either adding a CNAME record or uploading an XML file. So pretty simple stuff. If you found this tip video to be helpful, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next digital marketing tip video.